Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called Not Involved. Not Involved is a visual novel, a horror one by the looks of things, and I was very excited to play this one because the creator, uh, Stray Feet Gaming, reached out to me on Twitter and asked me to play their game on May 26th of this year. I think it's this year, yeah. I, I did. I did say I would, and I never did it. But they reached out again to me recently for the second chapter, so now I'm finally getting around to it. Thank goodness. It's here. Here we go. It's uh, sorry for the delay. It, it was a long time coming, and I just don't understand why I didn't do it earlier. This game is non-linear. Your choice affects the ending of the story! Yes! These are the best games! These are the best visual novel games! They're tedious, but they're great. My friend, my dearest, oh god, this art's so pretty! Already, it shall soon come to pass that I leave this stale world. Yes, I still reside in that old town, and no, I'm not getting any better. Should you desire to meet with me for one last time, then I fear you must via worm. Via worm? Via worm. For my time left in this bar these barren wastes is little. Yours, once more and for the last, Amari. P.S. I'm not mad about the skull. I know what you're thinking. Don't. It's Amari. You think he'd do it for you? It's been like, what, 13 years? And look at you. You've done fine enough without him. I mean, fine might just be, might be a bit generous. But you're not dead. Just let him tap out on his own. Don't waste a trip in a worm on his. Sooner or later, you won't be able to pay the toll. I have to. I won't forgive myself if I let him down again. Not like last time. Worm. This is the worm that we're talking about? Underground worms came into use not so long ago. For a modest price of just one memory, they'll carry you as far as the other side of the continent. One memory. Oh. What do they do with all the memories, though? Fine. So what's it gonna be this time? It's quite a trip, so you'll need something of value. Ergo, not a memory from Amari. A memory of Amari. Okay. I'm gonna save. There's three memories to choose from already. And I will think about the exam. This is great. You close your eyes, breathe in deep, and... Oh, hello! Here is your, your next. Here is your next patient. You must diagnose the problem and offer a solution. Before you is a girl who looks quite healthy, though very sad. I'm sorry. Th this girl. This girl looks healthy to you. What do people look like in this world? Hello, ma'am. How do you feel? I'm okay. You know, I'm not sure I buy it. Does anything hurt? No. Hmm. Look at how she's sitting. The vacancy in her eyes. And what's that on her arms? It's a lump of ap apathy and depression in one nightgown. In a nightgown. Poor thing. Looks like old Papa Doc's gone and pulled one, on one over on you. This g owl's problems are all in the head. There's absolutely nothing you've done to prepare for this. The chances of making a fool of yourself are great. I'm excited. So I'm a therapist too now? Oh god, there's gonna be many options, aren't there? Every twist and turn. Say nothing, just try to identify the cause, symptoms, and help her. How often have you felt good lately? Good. 
I feel like I'm worthless. Everything is going- is getting to be too much for me. Tell me. I mean, there's a bench by my house that I, o that I always used to love sitting on, and just staring out at the horizon, watching the grass sway in the cool breeze. Sometimes I even get a little sunset, just a little one, to warm me up inside. I love it. I love the peace it gave me. But now, I don't care about the sun. The grass is just grass. The breeze just makes me cold. And now, all I want to do is give up, bury my face in a pillow and cry. The only reason I'm not doing that now is my little sister. She needs me more. That's very noble. Have you ever thought about death or suicide? How good are you at focusing and making decisions? Well, decisions I can't make on the best days. For focus? I can't. Doctors ask me to bring them something, and I'll forget until they come in and yell at me for it an hour later. It feels like my head is empty most of the time, but also full enough to burst all at the same time. I forget things. Oh yeah, she's a nurse here. You've seen her around, haven't you? All sad and quiet? What shame am she's the one and in bed this time? I tried making my sister porridge a few times and managed to burn it. I didn't even know oh, you could do that. How can I take care of anyone if I can't even- Everything's just falling out of my hands! Alright, I got her pegged. You can ask her some more questions if you like, but I think we have enough. Besides, this really isn't your area of expertise anyway. She's depressed. She is? And how can we help her? Here, I'll prescribe you this medication that should help you out. No, honestly, you just need to smile more. Life will get better than- No! Here's this medicine. It should help. It'll take the edge off so you can- And be a little more self-sufficient. And also, here are a few ways to help you get back to your full strength. Normally, I'd advise you to seek counseling with a proper licensed therapist. But we have very few qualified and available right now. So for the a time being, try to find some people that can help you support you emotionally by listening, letting you get things off your chest, and helping you sort through your emotions. It's not perfect, but establishing a supportive network is a huge first step in recovery. Friends and family would be my first recommendation, but certain religious organizations might be able to offer you a safe place to go and talk as well. A lot of them don't even need you to be a member. They just want to help, and usually for free. You have a younger sister that you obviously love and care for very much and very deeply. That's wonderful. Let her and her well-being be something in to keep you grounded so you don't get all swept up in your emotions. Entertain her when you're scared, not your thoughts. The medicine here is taken twice a day, morning and evening. There may be side effects like nausea, diarrhea, and heart palpitations, but don't worry, they won't last long. It's not easy being where you are. It's harder still getting out of it. But you can g do it. It'll take some time and a great deal of effort, but if you are patient with yourself and kind, you'll be back to feeling like your old self again. And none of this calling yourself pathetic and fa failure. You deserve better than that. Huh? If you want it, say it. If you want it, say it. Say wait. If you want it, say if to your baby sister. Don't say it to yourself. And try to spend time with friends too. Nothing crazy, but once or twice a week will do wonders for you. He's right, my dear. These are difficult times you're facing. But having people in your corner can turn the tide and bring you through it. Well done, Doctor. Well, look at that. Papa Doc gave Little Doc a compliment. You weren't qualified. In fact, you were wildly unqualified. But you managed to get through it without making her more depressed. Good on you. Yes. Never say, 
smile and it'll make all the figs go away. Just, oh, just put, put your lip, put your mouth in the opposite direction of your normal frown and you're great. You're good. That's all you need. Darkness, like a smothering blanket, falls over everything. What sounds can hear, you can hear seem aim like they're being buried alive deeper and deeper. Nausea settles down and in, into the base of your stomach. And just like that, we've made it. In into the tunnel of the gross squishy <laughs> of the gross and squishy and all of, and all it cost us was a memory of the time you you did that thing something or somewhere whatever I'm worried I made the wrong choice it feels like I'm forgetting something important I hope whatever it was I won't need it anymore I'm running low on memories anyway. If I keep on like this, I won't be a long before I forget myself completely. Who I am. Why I'm here. I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. Like, even if it carried me straight to J right now, if I had to lose a memory, I don't even know what memory I would lose. I don't think I would want to, though. Well, I feel like if I lost my memories and... Someone will come in and take advantage of my weaknesses or some shit. Yeah, no, that's too creepy for me. I'm not down for that. Well, this was your idea personally. I would have dropped my memories of Amari a long time ago. It would save us both the trouble. Anyway, your stop's coming up. If you're doing this, let's just get on with it. Oh my god, the art is so beautiful on this. Man, I'd really hope we've seen in the last of this place. Or at least smelt the last of it. Yeesh. It's the smell of rot, like, most likely coming from those half-decomposed corpses in the distance. Their sad howls can be heard even from here. You didn't, hap you didn't happen to spend in the memory of where Amari lives on a worm ride to the store, did you? Either way... We'll have to ask around if we're going to find him. You can see an old man scowling at you from the porch down the way and a skeleton tending to his field. Behind one of the nearest huts, you hear a man swearing profusely and the sound of a timbering tree. Oh boy, here we go. More options. Let's save and approach the old man. The closer you get to the old man, the less friendly he becomes. Not that he ever seemed friendly to begin with. The, his breath reeks of alcohol and tobacco, and every breath comes out in a wheeze. Sounds like this shriveled old raisin has some kind of lung injury. I guess it could it'd also be asthma, or even tuberculosis. Not that it matters. We're only looking for one parasite meat sack tonight. Force of habit, I guess. The old man's face cracks and contorts with the nastiest snarl before you can even open your mouth. So, that's the new stench on the wind! He is... He is definitely a man, I guess. Look at that. Woo, ouch. What happened to your face, my guy? You look like... You're over here looking like Lord Voldemort with no nose and shit. <laughs> Another one of them worm ma worms managed to drag in his worthless self down our way. What a fool oh, you is. Ain't you feel oh, the least bit of shame giving those freaks a chunk of yourself oh, just to get around easily? You looking to live your life so quick you don't mind you ain't remember any of it. Bah! Mark my words, maggot, you'll, you'll hate it yourself one, for it one day. You'll you'll hate it yourself for it. When they done sucked you dry of all your notions and you ain't got nothing left to give, you won't even remember these words. But I figured they'll stick to you in the end, one way or another. Damn slugs, you even know where they came from. What would you care? They could have come from the darkest pit of hell, and you still wouldn't think twice about it, stupid maggot. What do you figure or they even do with the uh, memories? Aye, that's what I said. Okay, maybe, maybe this guy's a little bit 
smart. He's looking to be like he's he's kind of philosopher-ish. He he's thinking about it. All whole old up deep down in the dirt, just the wriggling and waiting. I tell tell you what they're doing. They're looking to get us all figured out, so oh, they can come out of the dirt and swallow us whole. He's also uh uh. I don't know if it's uh. He is having delusions, it seems. He has very strong delusions. Uh, they want to know oh, how best they can catch us with our pants round our ankles, crafty devils. See, they ain't so stupid as they look. They know we have them killed and cooked by dusk if they even try to come out outright. They're waiting to get strong enough that they can take us all out st statistically. And... Dumb folk like you is helping them along, you dumb, stupid maggots. He spits at your feet. What a charming old man with such wisdom to give. As much as I want to see him yell himself into a heart attack, we're here for Amari, who surprisingly might even might be even closer to dying. Your call, but we did waste the memory coming here. Uh... Okay, what if I just keep listening? What, what will I have to say? As if all these dead uns wasn't enough for us, but the like of you come a stumbling and swell, I got half a mind to break you open for the buzzards. That's how I be stalling you, staying how. How I get the stain of your existence out of my mind. That's a memory I give up seeing your dumb maggoty face. Matter of fact, the longer you stand here, the more itchy my knuckles is getting. Better you get it whilst you can. I'll be bringing the boys round to give you a wallopin' you ain't <laughs> likely to ever forget. Even with them giant slugs. So much wisdom... So much grace, but so little time. Bow now, bow out now, and maybe we can still find Amari yeah, without getting cracked in the head with a cane. Just a thought. Do what you will. Oh my god, I can keep listening. Holy shit. How long can I go with this? I know you're kind, maggot. Come in and get in the common folk oak to trust you. Well, I ain't convinced. I know oh, you're kind. I spit on them all. You ain't infiltrating this town, spy maggot. If they wasn't such a bundle of old fools and listen to me, you'd be begging for mercy by now. But so long as I'm still up and kicking, I won't let you taint these dumb folk. We ain't no friend of yours, and you ain't no friend of ours. You maggots slaughtered our youngins. That's moot. That's move. That's move one. You make them undead come out to us, all a hooting and a hollering. Uh, oh yeah, I know oh, what you're after, maggot. There ain't been a problem like it before, or your kind came wrong. Uh, all these years I lived here, and you folk made a good land wretched. Once we driven them off, you all will just bring them back. Uh, that's the second step. That's a war in, or of nutrition. And I ain't having it. You make us starve. You make us freeze. You spread your filth and squalor. Them's the free steps next. And all this cause you. You wretched, filthy, slug loving maggot. Huh? I swear if you. I swear to you, if I were still young and as spry as I once were, I'd be hauling your dead, worthless carcass out of town the second you step foot in it. I done spent my whole day getting in this field here prim and proper. I ain't fixing to let you come in and spoil it. What you waiting for, maggot? Turn tail and head back to your slugs. I mean it. I'll stick a pitch for it in your gullet if you ain't expelled yourself from my property. Eh? You filthy cretin, deaf to ya. De F to maggots. Wow, his breath is bad. Better or a lashing with a tongue than a whip. I read that somewhere, or I think this is what they meant. Let's leave, yeah? I'm not the one risking my neck for a friend I haven't seen in 13 years, but if you don't want to lose yours, I think we better back off! 
I'm gonna keep going. What 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 do you mean back off? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep listening. You done took everything I had and pissed where I buried it. Death to you, death to you, maggots. Ack. He's wheezing pretty hard. I think it's gonna pass out. If he dies, you're liable. Let's go. I'm gonna keep standing here, I don't care. You think I'm kidding, maggots? Uh oh. Get the hell out of this. Get the hell out of this madman. Yeah, you run. Run off to those slugs. Run off to your ding dead un friends. You can take all you want from me, but you can't take me, maggot. Satisfied? Thankfully, you have more choices for possible beating. Uh, oh my god, I got the full, I got the full e old man experience, so I'm gonna approach the skeleton now. Good day, friend. Don't worry, old Ismer's gone and given me a wall up, up from time to time, too. Don't fret him, though he's not evil, just broken. Hard times, you know, some of us handle him with more grace than others. He used to be a nice fellow once, long ago. Anyway, what can I do for you? Um, jeez, I'm, I'm loving this. Already. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just helping out old Ismer, weeding the bed and all that. His kids used to help, but they took off some time ago. Old folk like him shouldn't have to work a whole field just to feed himself. So I decided to pop in and see what I could do. What a noble act. I wonder what his angle is. You think he's dating the daughter? Do you know where I can find Amari? Sure. You'll want to follow that road until you see a house with a spire. Then you'll hook a right, and it's the third house on the left. It's a squat little hut separate from the others. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. Give him my best when you see him. Why did you decide to help me? Oh well, as you can see, I'm supposed to be dead, but I'm not. If I'm ever going to lay myself to rest, I'll have to do enough good deeds to override some of the bad I did in life. I was a bit dim in my living days and made some pretty poor choices. It's lucky Ismer er, even took me on for help in the first place. A lot of folk don't even want to look at me, let alone associate. Ismer's let me help him, though I think he's a good man for that. It's a little rough and tumble. Over time now, though, I learned and I kind of like helping people out where I can. There's a lot of hardships in this world, but making other people's burdens lighter just seems to make mine lighter, too. It's funny how life works, yeah? It took me dying to start living right. I wish I could have checked myself before it was too late. Do you ever wish you could see yourself in the future just for a second to see if you're on the right path so you could correct it? Oh god, I wish that every day. Someone give me a vision, please. Yeah, I do. How long have you been like this? Well, I... Long enough. Maybe longer. Follow the road. Take the right, the spire. Third house on the left. I... I gotta get back to work. Thank you. I didn't mean to offend. Third house on the left. I'll be here for you if you need me. You leave him standing just like that. You're certain that if he had skin and muscle on his face, he would look sad right now. Oh god. I gave him an existential crisis. I made him depressed. Oh no. Well, that's all we needed to hear, so we could just get going and try to catch Amari in time, though I'm positively itching to go see what all the ruckus is behind the cabin. Uh, yes, I am also. I want to get the full experience, thank you. Go behind the house. I have the option to do all the options, and that's cool. I'd rather not. One lump is too many. Or however that goes. I don't know. Let's just get going before someone else tries to knock my head off. But you won't even let me? Gosh dang it. He voice. Shut up. You follow the road. 
Oh, the turn right from the house with the spire. And there it is, the third house on the left in the outskirts. As you make your way up to his front door, you notice all the shutters are closed. That's not like Amari. You knock. Nobody answers. You knock harder until your fists, under your fists, the door opens slightly. You entered by, um, I'm not going to kick the door in. I will in another run, gently, quietly opening the door. You open the door slowly, letting gravity do most of the work. You don't make a sound. The hallway looks to be freshly cleaned. You follow you n your nose to a door at the end of the hallway. You open the door to find yourself drowned in the stench of rot and decay. Oh. Oh no! Oh god! He's eating a bird! Amari, what are you doing? Again? Amari, put it down! Amari can't see you. Aim to hear you. He just gnaws at the bird's stumped neck, staring blankly into space. Amari! Amari? Amari! Amari! Put it down! Eyes wide, you're not alone. The voice comes from a dark corner of the room. You can't make out who or what it is, but you know it's there. Okay. Here we go again. Um... Who's there? Chit chat, chit chat. Me, me. Who's there? Me. Wondering in deeper and wander. Wait, wandering, wondering or wandering? Wondering deeper into the darkness. You hear the chattering of teeth. The sound shakes of the walls of your skull. There on the countertop, you spot an empty birdcage. A small blue rag wriggling beside it. The chattering gets louder. It comes from the rag. Um. The chattering gets louder. It's coming from the rag. You take the cloth gently and rip it away. The chattering slows. Chit chat. Chit chat. Um. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened to him? To Amari, what's wrong with him? Chit chat. That boy gone done lost his mind, Chet. He ain't even speak a word to me. Not a word earned to one neighbor. Chit chat. Who's that girl, Chit? You're scared. Um. Okay, girl? Poor little girl, Chit. She seems frightened of me, Chit Chat. Where is she now? Is she here? Hide! Chit, hide! Amari, please, Chit. Stop hurting them. He'll be here soon. Just stop, Chit, please, Chit Chat. Chit Chat, Chit Chat, Chit Chat. Where can I find that girl? Chit, famished, chit, I'm absolutely famished, chit chat. Glurg. You drop down and dig into your bag to find something in the bird could eat. Well aware, well aware that this bird might just be stringing you along for treats. It sounds like Amari. Okay, let's make a deal here. You can have all the tooth nuts in this bag if you tell me everything you know about Amari. You get to talk and you get to eat. How's that sound? Tooth nuts, chit, famish, chit. I do believe we have an accord. All right, talk first, then it's all yours. You seen a girl walk up in here, chit? Where Amari's house, chit? Yes, sir, I seen a girl come a walk in it and like she owns the place more times than one. Chit escort, chat, maybe a family most like. She know, chit. Well, she know, Chit. She knows what? She know, she know, she know. Maybe you seeing the other bird or get chomped gave this one some problems. I don't think we're getting any further with the sky. 
and I know for a fact that Amari is not spooning girls and bringing them home. If he was, that would be worth putting. That'd be worth putting in the letter. <laughs> famish, absolutely famish, chit chat. Fine. You clear the dust from the windowsill and start laying some tooth nuts out onto the wood. Tell me where she lives. What is her name? Can you tell me how to help Amari? Chit chat back to your shelter. Chit in a narrow hut. The second floor will be safest. I'll collect you there when it's safe. Alright, I'll go find her. Here, these are all yours. I'll see you around, I guess. You lay the last of the tooth nuts on the windowsill and begin walking away. Wait, something's not right about that thing. Birds that mimic don't know what they're saying. They're just making sounds. You can't actually converse with one like that. Not unless it knows what it's saying. You stare in silence as the bird crushes the lats of the nuts in its teeth, bobbing its neck to swallow. It straightens its back, eerily human, and cranes its face slowly towards you. When it speaks, its voice has lowered. It's not mimicry. The voice it speaks in, in is its own. What are you? A grum! I'm a doctor. A grr. Why? No, you slip up. You make no noise. So cold a room you have entered, and yet it grows no warmer with your presence. Tell me, doctor, why do you, you so shield your skin against the night air? Why do you hide your living flesh? I'm leaving. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> My reaction. You turn to leave but are halted as the bird speaks again. Its voice is no louder, but the sound crackles and distorts in the air around you. No, you're not. Your kind never does. You walking squalor of rot and filth with your hollow words and breath like putref put putrefaction? You soil us, you forsaken a forsaken land, hail, vile creature of death, hail, fate's false proprietor, damn you, damnation to magnets. Please, wait, what did I do? Release me, undead devil. You grab down and hard on the bird's leg as he tries to fly away. He fights back hard, but you got him. The realization that he may have been playing you or for or a fool this whole time not is not lost on you. Tell me what I can do. Tell me what I did and you can go. Just stop fighting me. Phoenix vicious of rot and contempt. How should I trust the word er, from your putrid mouth? I was for the will of your kin and I was locked in your cage. You deceitful wretch, seek no redemption. None to your kind do. You seek only a your own unearned rest and damn the rest of us. You hold no altruism in your decaying hearts. You bid peace for yourselves and hell for the rest of us. You're a bird. You don't know me. Ugh. Oh, have I yet to uncover some redemptive nature of yours? Folly. I'm a doctor. I help people. That's got to count for something. So this, then, I smell, is a sense of a savior. Tell me, O oh great and benevolent doctor, in your time in this town, whose bones have you mended? Whose illnesses cast away? Speak, pretender. I came to the country to help Amari. I knew he was sick to wait. I had... Wait. I came to the country to help Amari. I knew he was too sick to wait. I didn't have time for anyone else. And in this decision, I am, am to find peace? What is one man's health to a dozen? How many have you forsaken to be here? And look, you've still come too late. You have forsaken one more. Put the bird back in the cage. 
Your anger grows with every new insult, and you slam him back into the cage and bolt the door. Vile patron of hate, death befall you and all your kin. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I have people to help. Not that it's that it'll be life worth changing your mind anyway. The bird stops thrashing around and stands firm in his cage. He straightens forward and unhinges his jaw towards you. You think it'll be another onslaught of insults, but it's not. I don't have time for this. I'll be back soon, Amari. You just sit tight, okay, buddy? You look him once over. His eyes are somehow both completely vacant and filled completely with terror. There's little of the moon you remember in him. Yeah, you won't run away from me. I hope that bird can't chew through a cage. No more nuts, it's fine. All right, time to go. Let's find this girl. Closing the door behind you, you scan your surroundings. Off in the distance, you see a crowd. They're chanting something, howling, cheering. It looks to be a fire that they gathered around. You smell, and the smell of burned, spoiled meat replaces the very air around you. I don't think they're just roasting weenies on a campfire. No, I don't think so. Come on, we need to move. I think I can see the hut from here, is that it? A rickety old two-story hut stands in firm, not too far away. Maybe let's go. Your minute stature and incredibly frail physique are no oh match for the good old boy. He doesn't look all too bright. We could probably sneak right past him, but if you're worried about him splitting you in half, we could try for another route. Oh boy. Th there is really a lot of options here. This is great. Approach the man, ask him for directions. You approach the tall man. Excuse me, sir, could you help me find my way to... The man's eyes light up as he turns to see you as sinister smirk spreads across his face. Now, what's this now? Maggot's gone and brought himself right up to me. Don't worry, little fella, I'll take you right where you ought to be. He sha his shadow grows over you as he licks his lips and chuckles to himself. Oh, uh, yeah, I shouldn't trust people in this town. Uh, I got burned at the stake. All right. <laughs> Sneak past. Uh, no. Uh, sneak past the man. You begin moving carefully around him. If you had to break it hold, you'll be holding it. As you come closer, you hear him singing cheerfully to himself. Gonna make a maggot scream, scrip his body, break his knees. Got him, stuff him, cut him till he bleeds. M-A-G-G-O-T-S, hammers, knives, and all the rest. And I won't stop until I hear, sir, please. I ain't no... I ain't no such rotting soul. Hear me holler, let me go. I'll write my plight and be along my way. Well, I ain't near er, being and much forgiven. I'll make you pay for all your sinning. Deaf to maggots all the live long day. Deaf to maggots, deaf to maggots, deaf to maggots all the live long day. <laughs> Holy crap, his pitch is terrible. Uh, plus all the gruesome stuff. But honestly, I'd rather er, that than this. Let's just find another route. Unrelenting in this tonal ballad, you decide to try and find a different way to the narrow hut. And we did. You come to the narrow hut. It leans like it could collapse on the slightest breeze. The windows are boarded. You find the front door, er, cautious of all the teetering lumber er, overhead, you and knock. No reply. Go on, then. Put those thunder fives to work and kick it down. You push on it and it doesn't move, not even slightly. Like it's more than locked. It's barricaded. You knock harder. Still nothing. Wow, you are weak. Here, let's look around and see what we can and find. There's gotta be another way some in, another way in somewhere, right? Glancing up, you can see a boarded window. Oh, just enough. With just enough space in the slot, that's for you to squeeze through. If you could reach that high up, 
Good day, friend. Need a hand? Ah! It's the undead man. What? Oh. I mean, a hand is about all he can offer by the looks of it. Um. Yes. Uh, what happened to your legs? Ah, uh, well. Maybe you know this, but we're not uh, very popular in town. Dead people, I mean. They seem a little more on edge than usual today, though. Take old Ismer. Sure, he gives me a whack sometimes while I work his fields. And sure, he'll, he'll, he ripped my hand off off a few days ago. But he's never tried anything serious. Not so serious I couldn't work, of course. But t the, today, though. Today, he... He came up on me when I wasn't looking, screaming about death to maggots. I didn't pay him any attention. He, uh, he often and has himself a, a little tirade when I work, huh? But this time, instead of a, of a king to the nug, he wrenched my neck back and kicked my skin in half at the hips. I crawled away thinking some animal had gone and attacked me, but no, it was just him. I look on as he stomped and spat on my legs. He stamped them with his cane until the pieces were too small. Then he dropped to the ground and started pounding them into dirt. All the while he was screaming loud as I ever heard. And there was something different in him. Something in his eyes. He seemed, well, like he didn't seem like Ismer. Screaming about a purge of the undead, deaf to maggots. Not unusual, but tonight he seemed f feral. I hardly got away from him. Oh, Ismer. And the rest of him. They just have some kind of bloodlust. I've never seen something like it. Did you see who they were burning in the square? Uh, yeah, it was me. They were burning me in the square. Just not too long ago. In another run. <laughs> Why would they do this to us? Well, it's not... Well, that's not a hard one. These folks are simple and hate it easy. And hate is easy. To understand someone, or at least tolerate and respect them, that's tough. I don't think these people have it in them for that. I've seen them drive some folks off their land, some, of the, some into the forest, and some of the unlucky ones got crushed or cut up and burned alive. What a way to spend eternity, eh? I figured I could shirk their wrath so long as I kept my head down and did right by people. Guess that's some egg on my face, yeah? <laughs> stupid, stupid me. I know I did bad when I was alive. I owe that. But I was given the chance to redeem myself. I'm not the same now as I was then. That's the point of this whole system, isn't it? To make up for it all? Yeah, I guess so. We were given a second chance, and it's not lost on us. We're trying. You, me, every other unfortunate walking the plains. We're doing our best. No one hates us more -er than us. And they don't know that. They don't get that. They just see a walking carcass with a history they don't even know. They just see the one glimmer of hope we have and take it away. And for what? I just want to sleep. 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 Why can't I sleep? Nothing you do is going to make him better. Everything you do is going to make him worse. We have more important things to take care of. He can, can, he can get us through the window. I'm so... I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, but I need your help. Amari's my friend, and he's dying, and he's the only person who might be able to s I'm the only person, and the only person who might be able to save him is in this house. Can you push me up the window so I can find her, please? I don't know if he has much longer. Of course, I'll keep watch in case any of them come by. We'll get through this together, mate. I've got your back. I always have my friend's backs. <gasps> Oh my god, we made a friend! Please do not kill him! Oh, unless he, he's going to rest. I want him to go to rest. Helpfully. With a great effort, Cl 
clearly missing the use of its legs. The skeleton sends you up to the window. The gap isn't and quite as wide as you thought, but you manage to force yourself through after emptying your lungs. You land gracelessly in the near pitch black room. At first it's silent. Little by little you can hear a mass of footsteps begin to collect just outside the window. Looky looky boys, this one looks like Urzer's Urzermer's property. Looking for a breaver, skinny? <laughs> Old man couldn't finish you, eh? Don't worry, me and the boys will set you right. More people seem to accumulate around the window. Some laughing, some snarling, some hooting, some hollering. Louder than that. Though, is this, is this skeleton silence? Ain't no redemption for the likes of you. You know something I reckon? I know is, is Mur better than in most of you. Did any of you ever think to help him when his family left? Did any of you notice they were gone? I did. I don't think he holds it against you. I do. Just keep after his fill when I'm gone, yeah? I'll do you one better. I'll bury you in it. All right, boys, have at him. Oh, no, my friends. Did I do this? Did I enrage that man so much that he got the whole crew after everybody? God, this might be my fault. That's about it. Come on, fellas. I hear tell of one of them prancing around dressed as a doctor. Better we give him a checkup. Purge the undead. Death to maggots. Their cheers and footsteps grow distant as they march away like wolves on a hunt. Soon enough, it's just the silence of an empty room. I, but, I never even asked his name. Oh well, bone meal makes for good further fertilizer. The girl's around here somewhere. Let's take a look. You dust yourself off and look around the room. This place looks to have been ransacked. That or a tornado has ripped through it. And everything is very silent right now and unsettling. Chairs and tables lie broken and tossed, shards of glass splinters carpet at the floor. You see the front door and overturned cabinets that blocked it off. A staircase, just as much in disrepair, the unsafe look looking as everything else around here, is just ahead of you. If she'd be anywhere, she'd likely be there. Oh boy. They told me to go to the second floor. I'll call, though. Um, hello? Is anyone here? I'm not gonna hurt you. Hello? Anyone home? Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm a friend of Marmari's. He needs help. I think you're the person to see about that. He's really not well. The house responds only by creaking in the wind. You make your way to the staircase. To be fair, it's pretty 50-50 that the words, I'm not going to hurt you, do or don't proceed getting hurt. You take ink the railing and begin climbing the stairs, still reeling from what? Good God above! Is it... Is it dead? I'll give you a crisp high five if you touch it. You stretch your shaking hand towards its hairy leg. You touch it softly at first. Then you grab it at more confidence. It's mechanical. It doesn't feel like you would have expected. Not furry or even slimy, actually. It just feels like cloth and piping. Hmm, I'm not buying it. Put your face in its mouth and we'll be sure. It's fake. And a good idea. I hope she's alive for me to tell her that. Mindful of something on one's hard work, you step over the spider and make your way to the next floor. Really, it's just an attic. There's, There are swaths of cloth that ma the match wait sloths of cloth the match the patches of the spider littered all around a bed a dresser and a young lady scared half to death oh hello are you the girl that was visiting amari please get out of here malware bites no one oh my hello you're also undead are you go away Please don't kill me. 
Oh my god, okay. The spider's really cool. Did you make it? Amari sent a letter to me asking me for to come see him before it was too late. It was too late. The bird in this hut, he... If it's a he, told me where to find you. She shrinks, herself even smaller. No, no, it's okay. I locked him in the cage. He won't come for you here. He, he can chew through bars. With those rotten teeth, maybe a, they're the right size for chomping, that's for sure. He's not here now, and he's not gonna be later. Do you know how I can help Amari? Please, I really need to know. He needs herbs from the forest. I know the ones. That's perfect. Come on. If we hurry, we might make it back in time. Do you know the way? Yes. No, I... She shrinks herself even smaller. I can't leave. I can't leave. Why not? Because I'm ugly. I look like a corpse. They're gonna see me and they're gonna hurt me. They don't like corpses if they're not in the forest look nothing like a corpse. Fair enough. Why do they only like corpses in the forest? I, I want to know that. The small... They smell bad. They make people sick. They make people sad. A film of water rises over her eyes. And what do you think? I don't think they're much worse than the rest of us. All the adults around here think that corpses and maggots have no place with people. I heard them talking. They think the forest eats what they give it, so they treat it like a trash can and send everyone they don't like in there. There's creatures that live in the forest. Mean ones, hungry ones. No one survives long in there. No one, eh? Well, it's a good thing I'm a trendsetter, not, not a rule follower. Where do I need to go for Amari? There's a clearing in the forest. It's guarded by twelve sycamore trees that circle it. If you look at the roots, you'll find the wolf moss. You can and tell which it is, because it's black with brown spots. There's a swaki there, too. You perk up in excitement. Under the rocks, I have some with me. Wolf moss, black with brown spots at the roots of sycamore tree. And what do I do once I have everything? Grind it up and boil it. How much water? The ratio is 5-1-1 for the water, moss, and sawaki. Alright, do I need to know this? I, I feel like I need to know this. I need to retain this information. And this will fix them. It might. It's better than anything I could do. Thank you, Celia. Um, I can talk to her. Tell me more about what happened to Amari. I've known him for a while. He's a glutton. But I've never seen him hungry enough to eat a bird alive. Huh? Yeah. He made a potion. He said that this might be a side effect. He really did try to warn me, but I thought he was kidding. I guess he meant it. I saw him a couple days ago and he looked really bad. He had so many birds and he just keeps eating them, biting off their heads and sucking on the stumps. It was horrible. There was more blood and bones everywhere. And then he started yelling at me. He told me he once that if anything happened to him, I should come here and wait for him to get me. I'm still waiting. Well, we'll help him b get back. Wait. Hmm. I'm sorry that sound. I'm sorry that sounds horrible. Why are you here all alone? I've always been alone. It's where I'm comfortable, especially now that the front door is blocked up. I didn't always have 
didn't have to be so careful. It's different these days, though. What do you mean you've always been alone? As far as I can remember, I just woke up one day and my parents were gone. I've been on my own ever since. How did you survive? I was never a picky eater, so roots and whatever else edible in the forest kept me fed. There is a river note by you can wash in it. I collect shells there too. I carve them into toys. I'm a good tinkerer. If I need a toy or a tool, I can usually put something together. There's not a there used to be a lot of nice people that would just stop by and help help out too. Not anymore though. Now it's just Amari and Flint. Flint. Our mayor. Uh, for, former mayor for now, I guess. What happened to him? Amari told me that he took a lot on himself. I don't know what that means, but that all he told. Wait, but that's all he told me. I think he just got tired. Hmm. Everyone and can't be bad, right? What happened and to the other good people? They left. They didn't like living with corpses and skeletons. Only the bitter ones stuck around. They talk about how they're protecting their own homes by driving maggots and corpses into the woods. There's monsters in the woods. I think they're scared of it too. Oh, the forest full of death. That's where we're going, right? Delightful. Wonderful, even. I can't wait to get eaten alive-ish for a blob we don't even really know anymore. Come on, we better get it on with our disembowelment before Amari gets to the point of no return, since we're so concerned about him. Do you know anything about Ismer? A little. He used to have a wife and two kids. She traveled a lot, and he stayed at the farm. One time, she left for a trip, and that was the last time I ever saw her. His kids went missing the same way. They just left and didn't come back. I always wondered if they got hurt, or if they just didn't want to live here anymore. He has a skeleton that does his work for him now. The skeleton's really nice. He makes me laugh sometimes. Woof. Don't let her pick egg outside. I met him. He does seem nice. Yes. A sumer or drinks a lot. They all do. Um, especially when they all got together. One time they all went in and, and drank for a whole week straight. There was a lot of singing and fighting. I don't think I'm ever going to drink. That's all I know. He drinks and he has no family. Maybe that's why he drinks. Maybe. Thank you. Give the girl a gift. You don't know her well enough you don't know what her well enough for that it's just creepy if you give it now you want me to draw a pencil mustache on your beak help you live the part creep I can't give her a gift for helping me Jesus that's sad I'm off I'm sorry to put you through so much when you've already been through it I just need to make sure Amari is okay. It's okay, I understand. Be careful. Oh, and the potion's probably gonna hurt a lot, so make sure you give him some painkillers before you give it to him. Note it. Stay safe, kiddo. I'll be back soon. Me and Amari, I hope. You make it back to the window. You came from and slip out, the crunching beneath your feet as you walk over. Stark's reality. No, I feel so bad. Odds are, that'll be you before the night's over if you don't leave. You know that, right? I know. Whatever light reaches down to touch the ground before is corrupted under the canopy of the forest. Nature is meant to be the very essence of life, though looking around you see only the bastardization of it. The smell of rot has long since dissipated and been replaced by dew and pine. Twelve sea- Ingramores. Twelve sea- 
Maybe I should push her to come with me. I'm literally looking for trees in a four. What the heck? Oh no, that sounded like my mother-in-law sitting in my favorite silk couch. Move slowly. Hopefully it was just a monster. Hopefully? You want it to be a monster? You scan for the underbrush, looking for whatever made that noise. When you look down and find the ground laden with black moss with brown, you start fiendishly ripping it from the ground until... Wait. You're married? Married? Where'd that come from? Well, technically, I got an a annulment. And whoa, look out! Uh-oh. Uh, 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 try to talk, try to talk, try to talk. I always do this. I like charisma. Give me that stat. You drop the moss and raise your hand and surrender. I'm not here to hurt you. I just need this moss for my friend. He's really sick. I don't know how much time he has left. It's a giant freaking tree! Run! This reminds me of, uh, Don't Starve. Village, come, take, friends. Give nothing, leave nothing. Okay. There's a balance to everything, give and take. I need to take these moss and give it to my friend Amari. Amari, come, Amari, give! Then Amari, take. What does he give? Blood. I can't do that. My blood isn't human. It'll do more harm than good. Lie? Me? No, my blood just can't mix with living things. You lie. You die. <laughs> <laughs> you snatch the moss from the ground and only just jump out from under his foot, rattling the ground beneath you as it lands. You sprint back towards the village. The beast hurls accusations at you, but you ignore him and run. It's not so different from the villagers. Hmm, I wonder what would have happened, and though, if you would spill a few drops. Maybe nothing, or maybe something awesome? Slinking through the back alleys, you can hear men screaming coming from everywhere. You're tempted to cover your ears. It's a sound you wouldn't likely forget. Huts are on fire. You can see shadows dancing in flames. The smell of burning flesh from before has only been become more intense and all en encompassing. Screams rise and are cut short. By the time you make it back to Amari's helm, you waste no time locking the doors behind you. Gah, Damn, the girl was right about the bird. Okay, Amari. Don't worry. I just need to whip up some painkillers and the medicine and everything's gonna be fine. You swipe to clean the nearest table and prepare everything you need. You prepare the painkiller using the herbs that you have on you. Glad I remember that. Good to know you can make... You can make me drugs when I'm bored. Who is the voice? I need to know. Okay, I have everything. Wolf moss. Sawaki. I have to grind it up and bring it to a boil. What did she say? The ratio was 5 to 1? No! That's not the ratio! That's the wrong ratio! Uh-oh. I don't think that's enough moss there, Doc. Crap. Crap off to do it. I... I either... Hold on, Amari. I'm almost done. You have to start finalizing the concoction. Just a little more. Just a little more. Doctor. Come in. Oh, wait. They can't hear me. Do you want to get in? Do you want to get it? Amari! Please, no. You in there, pal? A little birdie told us you... You've got an infestation. We like to set those pests to running for you, free of charge. Do you think they have snacks with them? My tummy's making me making grumblies. Amari, you'll want to let us in. We're cleaning house tonight. No exceptions. 
I'm giving you this chance because I hate to knock down such a nice looking door. Not the door, the lead in the breeze. Shut up, Amari, drink. Painkiller first, then the potion. Amari, well, I gave you a chance in such a lovely oak door. I'm gonna get burned at the stake again. Thank you for pl ah! 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 <laughs> okay, that's the second and first check. We put our heart and soul into this game, so it would mean a lot if you would re yep. Not involved is and will be available for free, so it can make more people experience it. And it's to be continued. Not involved. My god, that was wonderful. That game had a lot of artistic structure and story. I do want to do different routes in it. But I might have to do it on my own because this is has became a long video. Um, it said that it would take about 30 minutes to play both chapters. It's, it's taken an hour and five minutes. Um, I'm definitely going to do more of this game, though, especially when the third chapter comes out. I can't wait to see what it is. Um, I might just play the whole game again doing a completely different run. So, I'll just, I'll see what happens in the future. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. And that has been Not Involved. Um... I, 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 like I said, in the future, I'll dig more into the game, especially when that third chapter comes out, I'll be right on to it, so, I, I really loved it, I loved it, by the way, it was great, it had a lot, a lot of perspectives to look at, a lot of visuals, and it's definitely dangerous, you can die, you have choices, which is great, uh, choice-based, uh, video games, uh, visual novels are just one of the best, I think. It, it's so cool. And when I move my mouse around, uh, the set, uh, the uh, home screen does this. So <laughs> that's also pretty cool. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.